YouTube and welcome to our 33rd Unity 3D tutorial and in the last tutorial what we did was we made our inventory better we added new things to it and added some more items so what we could do is collect them when we start to work on it but um, what we're going to do before that is next tutorial we're going to start adding the items but now we're going to add something called a gooey skin and now if I just load my interior so it loads faster and then if we bring up any GUI object, box, scroll bar, button, label, any GUI object, like that, as you can see, it's all stationary, we can't change it, we can't like change the font size, the colour, the colour of the buttons, the scroll bar colour, the background colour, we can't change none of that. But the, what this GUI skin does is allow us to change every single bit of it. I did mention this last tutorial, I think, but yeah. So what we're going to do is go into our texture folder and we'll just print this in our, where should we put it? Hmm, I'll put it in our hoods folder. So in here, that's way too big, but yeah, um, we'll create a new folder and we'll just simply call this um, skins. And in here what you're going to do is you'll right click, create, and right at the bottom here, past all these different ones which we will eventually use too, we will choose GUI skin. And you could call this whatever you like, I'll just call this um, house style. If you don't know what a house style is, basically it's the start one main style what your whole thing uses. So yeah. So as you can see, in the inspector, once we've clicked it, we've got many, many options. And they you, you all can open up and have loads. So if we go to, say, a label. So if we remember our default label, it's aerial, it's not very good, it's small, we can't see it. So if we like go to our label, as you can see, you open it up, you've got a name for it, which you don't need to bother with. Then you've got all these different ones. Normal is basically if, you, if it's just stationary there. Hover is if you hover over it. Active is, is if you click it. Focused if everything's doing it. And you've got all these different ones you can edit. And you've like got which font you want, image positions, alignments for it. Word wrap, which basically means it'll go down like it does instead of like going off it. Um, so it's really, really simple well not simple but effective and you've got this for labels toggles buttons boxes sliders scroll bars you've got it for everything you can pick it's like got different ones selection colors cursor colors and then you can like add more there's loads i haven't been through all these because there's that many but yeah so what we're going to do first is what we're going to do is open up our inventory because that's the first one we want it on so if we just type in inventory GUI and open this up and boom so at the moment we've got it basic it does it it loads it we have fun easy so what we're going to do though is create a new variable underneath private variable because we don't want to be editing this one and we'll call it my skin and you call it whatever you like and this will is a type of gooey skin which basically is our skin so we'll put our skin there um, but now what we're going to do is the grids icon here what we're going to do later is change it from just an image so that it can now support text and you can roll over it and get images. Well, not images, text, so roll over tooltip. But we'll do that later in this tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do first is scroll down to our on GUI here and just before it does anything, we want it to load our skin and make it so every single one of these abides to that skin. So it's really cool. So to do this, you simply type GUI.skin, lowercase, and that basically goes into the GUI options and sets the skin and we set it to my skin here done that's it we've just officially loaded our skin but what we need to do is we need to assign it like a proper variable so if we wait for it to load tick tick there we go there it is so if you can click the pin head if you like and look you've got different ones and we just click our house style you don't need to do any of these and then that's it. Now if we were to start it, I don't think we'd see much change. Nope, look, no change. But what we can do is if we leave that running and edit it so we can try it. So if we go to label, say, and change the font size up. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working. You probably have to do it off. Um, off. So if we change font size to, say, it was 0, we'll set 10. Try it again, hopefully it'll work. Um, okay, so we'll assign our own thingy then, and um, font, because it's got no font. So we click the pinhead, choose whatever you want. I'll just use ours baby ass, new, or whatever it is. And we'll try it again. 
there you go as you can see it's changed so can we change the font size now I don't think you can change it while it's running that's not very good and um, so it must like normal inspector then so we'll change it to 10 and try it at 10 so 10's pretty good I want it uh, 10 we'll say f 15 and we'll try it again that's a bit better and um, I don't think it's actually changed but yeah um, yeah so that's that done but as you can see it's down at the bottom and we want it like in the middle so it's where it was so if we change the alignment to upper center and then we can leave the image on because we don't need that one um, try again there you go so it's in the middle it's a bit better but not what we want so we'll put it back to there and we'll put it at low lower center see if that helps oh no that failed so as you can see you can sit here forever just trying to get it right so we'll just keep it like that um, word wrap will turn off so it doesn't so it'll go off to the side if it needs to um, in this font up the top which is the font throughout everything we'll change it to ours because that's what we want um, text color shall we change it when you hover over it no nah, let's not so so like you wanted to edit the buttons because they've got that grey box behind them. If you go into normal, background, it's got a button. If we were to say click none and then retry, don't worry about that warning. As you can see, all our buttons have fixed it. That looks crappy at the moment, I've got to admit, but it's better than where it was before. So it's work in progress. So if we say change the hover, what do we want it to do when it hovers? What we really need is our blank one and to change colour. But at the moment we'll just leave it and we'll reset this one back to it because I liked it before. There we go. So that's that better. Um, what else have we got in our thing? We've got a window. What can we change in the window? Background. So if we look at ours, what we've got now. So don't think you can see that I think because we've set our own we can't see that one so we'll just stick to the label for now um, normal hover so apparently if we hover over our label it actually does do something nope that must be disabled then hmm never mind so we've got all these things but yeah that's basically you can sit there editing that for as long as you like and it will keep changing and getting better and better I'll set it to bold why not um, I don't want it to stretch the width, no thank you. But yeah, you have to, You don't have to, it's all set, set as default, but if you want to change anything, you use a GUI skin. And as long as you set it up in there, I think I will actually get rid of that button thing, it looks better after. But I'll keep the hover, hover on. Or shall I try it without the hover? Let's try. You may as well just try, you can sit here for hours experimenting. Um, now it doesn't do anything. That's even worse. Come back. We'll set that back to none. I think it would be better like that. So we have nothing and you highlight it and it comes. There we go. That's I like that. That's quite good. And like say we want to change the colour of the scroll bar. What colour should we we'll set the background to the same opaque blue. So if we look for vertical scroll bar that one. I believe it's this one. And this is the background so say we set it to have we got a blue or the same color blue hmm. what to set it as can we get our shop window not inventory window Let's try that one see what it looks like like this this may look very very bad actually that's not too bad I like that so as you can see the background's changed so I'll keep it like that for now it's a bit too blue but we can change that in the future but yeah that'll do so as you can see edit play with that skin as much as you like and as long as you've set it in it's good don't worry about this one in here useless we don't need it so um as i was saying earlier if we go back to our inventory gui here and say we look at our grids as you can see they all just support images that's it which isn't very good we want to be able to set 
tool tips um, text and show how much we've got in each one which is really good so what we're going to do is open up our GUI inventory here and this is actually really simple to do all we have to do is click this and get rid of text gen put GUI content which basically adds three things image text and tooltip which is super simple so if we now watch it do it again to reload as you can see at the bottom and then boom zero again so we set it to one so we can assign it and you've got a folder this time so if you open it up you've got text so say what we can set the text as is the amount you've got in each one so we'll just set each one to zero the image we want our blank icon um, where's our blank icon gone? Hmm. Where is it? I can't remember where I put it. Uh, I think it was in HUD inventory. That's it. Grid icon. We call it the wrong thing. Never mind. Tooltip. So when you highlight over this, what do we want it to say? We need to actually code this in. We'll be doing that in another tutorial. But say we call this um, blank. Yeah, and then we set this to 40. Boom, as you can see, we have 40 zeros. So, if we click play, and now try it again. As you can see, they've all got zeros next to them. Say we were to change number one to one. Then you can change it to even cheese. As you can see, it goes off though. So if we say like 100, it gets smaller. And then we could like set a cap, cap at it. So if it gets to 99, it goes to the next block. And then say so you have 99, then these are easily changeable. All you do is to change them if you want them to go ahead before the next tutorial comes out. Is say where you change your image, which we haven't actually covered yet. But say you want to change something, you go grids, um, bracket, one, bracket, dot. Say you want to change the image, you put dot image, or dot text, or dot tooltip. So that's it. Um, the picture for today, the loading screen, is Superman. So I got this picture, which I thought was really cool, and I stuck it onto this. So as you can see, there's Superman. His face messed up a little bit, but I don't know. That's what it actually looks like on there. But it basically says, when Super the universe is forged, Superman's powers were drained. He is still stronger than most, but now he can be easily defeated he can be defeated as easily as a human so he he might be very vigilant so watch out and um, if anyone doesn't know what vigilant means it means very paranoid like don't come near me I'll hit you and stuff so his powers have been drained he can now be defeated he's scared he's vigilant paranoid so he's going to defend himself so that could open up a boss fight for us so we have to beat the amazing superman but yeah so that's it, so thanks for watching, please like, comment and enjoy, see you later.